Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, the long awaited downgrade video is here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys to downgrade yet another iPhone 4. I know, I know, but listen to me first. We're gonna downgrade a different iPhone 4 this time. So if you see on the right, this is a no SIM card iPhone 4, which only meant one thing. This is a CDMA iPhone 4. You can see right there on the carrier, Verizon 16.0. This is the CDMA Verizon iPhone 4. So throughout this past, I think since 2019, I downgraded this iPhone 4. The all of those all of those tools except Geekrate are only working on the iPhone 4 3.1, which is the 16 gigabyte and the 32 gigabyte SIM the SIM card enabled iPhone 4 not the CDMA and the 8GB 3.2 iPhone 4. The 3.2 iPhone 4 as of right now, there is still no tool yet to downgrade, maybe in the future, except Geekrate, right? You can still use Geekrate to downgrade the 3.2 iPhone 4 with also this 3.3 iPhone 4, I think. But this is an entire downgrade, like all of those tools that I've been showing you guys, okay? So, so for all you guys that have an iPhone 4, it's a rare model iPhone 4 to be honest, right? A CDMA iPhone 4, as you can see, no SIM card tray, no SIM card tray, no nothing. You can see right there, CDMA iPhone 4. I'm going to show you guys how you guys can downgrade this iPhone 4 as of making this video to iOS 6.1.3. Alright, so if you guys get your, get your iPhone 3.3 CDMA and follow along to this journey, so let's go to the video. Alright guys, so here's the tools that we're gonna use. It's called Powder Snow by Dora to iOS. So thank you once again, Dora, for creating this iPhone 4 downgrade tools. Now, again, these tools is for now are Mac only. So for Windows users or Linux users, I'm sorry. Uh, I cannot do anything about it, alright? So yeah, so you gotta use Powder Snow. This is basically kinda like Charity Flower 2.0, but you know, it's kinda different different tools at the same time because powder snow can also downgrade this 3.1 iphone 4 here but not to ios 4 yet as you can see there we say soon but here's the new thing we can now downgrade the 3.3 iphone 4 which is a cdma model to 6.1.3 so yes you guys if you guys have an iphone 3.1 too you guys also can use these tools to downgrade to 5.1.1 or 6.1.3 but since I already covered all those downgrades, I'm going to show you guys this on the iPhone 4 3.3, which is the CDMA model once again. Now we're going to scroll down and we're going to hit download powder snow. And we're going to go to our friends at ipsw.me. We're going to go to iPhone. Oh, look at that. The 13 series has, doesn't have a picture yet as I'm recording this video. All right. So we're going to scroll down and see we see. The iPhone 4 CDMA, that's what the iPhone 4 that we got downgrade today. I don't know, man, maybe the 3.2 will have a downgrade tool someday. So scroll down here, 6.1.3, and click on download. Let's see if it works, because if it does not download here, you gotta click copy to clipboard. You can see, mine's not downloaded, so you click here, copy to clipboard, and just command V, and hit enter, and it should be downloading. There you go. Okay, so once you finish downloading your 6.3 IPSW, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna download our IP iOS 7 IPSW. All right, so once everything is loaded, we're gonna go to our downloads folder. You can see right there, this is the powder snow folder. I'm gonna double click on that. Okay, now here we are, then I'm gonna double click, double click again, and now we're gonna go to our friends at the downgrade, which is terminal. We're gonna open up terminal here. All right, now we're gonna type in CD space, and then you see this little folder icon here just drag it to your terminal window like that there you go click enter now we're inside the folder and then we're gonna type in dot slash ipsw space and then we're gonna drag our ios 6.1.3 ipsw we're gonna drag it just like that and we're gonna t we're gonna make sure that is half a space inside it just like that and then we're going to type in cfw.ipsw, okay, and then we're going to hit space, dash, memory, space, dash, use, dra, which is supposed to be caps lock, there we go, which is data boost anti-quiz, of course, the toolkit that we're going to use, and then we're going to drag our iOS 7.1.2 IPSW, just like so, if my trackpad allow me to drag it, there we go, <laughs> and then we're going to hit enter. 
and then you get all these um, license agreements. You're just gonna type in Y. We're gonna hit the, the caps lock Y, the capital Y, and then enter. There we go. We're gonna wait for our custom IPSW to create it. All right, so next thing is we're gonna plug in our phone to the computer and we're gonna hit power and home for 10 seconds to go to the FU mode. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button for another 10 seconds. All right, there you can see here iTunes has detected it. In fact, we got an iOS 9. No, 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 not restored yet. Okay, the next command we're gonna type in is dot slash i pounder 32 space dash p hit enter so we can put our iPhone 4 in in pawn DFE mode. Okay, quit iTunes here, which you can see here the device is now entered pawn DFE mode. And then the next command is we're gonna type in dot slash i device restore dash t and we're not going to restore using ios 6 yet we're going to use ios 7 to get the ssh of ios 7 here okay this trackpad there we go can finally now drag it and hit enter you can see there we are getting our ssh of ios 7 all right next we're going to quickly go to our uh, folder of patterns now we're going to click on this ssh folder now there's gonna be your SSSH uh, number here. Every one is of them is unique. We're just gonna click on our name here, and we're gonna hit Command C, and then we're gonna type in MV space dash V enter a space. I mean SSSH slash, and then just paste that command. There you go. Paste that little rename text that we already created, and then we're gonna hit space SSSH slash. Hit paste again. But this time we're gonna change that 7.1.2 to 6.1.3. So 6.1.3 and enter. Basically, that we're just renaming it to the 6.1.3 version. Okay, so once you rename that, I accidentally quit terminal, so that's why my terminal command is empty. We're gonna just, we're just gonna type in dot slash i device restore dash e not dash w dash e and then dash w and then we're gonna drag our cfw or our custom ios 6 ipsw drag it to the terminal folder and hit entry unable to place device into recovery mode from dfu mode again enter So as you see with the CDMA iPhone 4, because CDMA especially in my country no longer exists, it just skipped to the setup like normal. So you can technically say that this iPhone 4 CDMA was the first phone maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, at least the first iPhone to use an eSIM. Alright, so here we are at the setup, let's open this up in 3, 2, 1. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, we successfully downloaded yet another iPhone 4, but this time a special one. Let me turn on the brightness, hold on. As you can see, 6.1.3 Verizon, the same iPhone without the SIM card. We successfully downgrade an iPhone 4 3.3 CDMA model to iOS 6 with a jailbreak as well. Look at that, thanks to Powder Snow. So, let me prove it to you guys that this is an untethered downgrade. So, let's turn off the iPhone, turn it back in, and there you go. Here we are, we see the iOS 7 logo, splash the old iOS 6 Apple logo.
all right there we go completely untethered all right it's just gonna just waiting for activation you just can dismiss that and there you go we should be working just fine now if you're downgrading a 3.1 to ios 5 you will, you will still have to say the jailbreak so you know the powder snow immediately jailbreak your firmware because with jailbreak you can side load apps you can fix youtube you can do a lot more things with this older firmware with a jailbreak all right so for example when you restore back to ios 7 in case you want to go back to ios 7 and you stop on the activation screen after you restart your right your phone all right so i'm gonna show you guys how to go back to ios 7. we're gonna go back to terminal we're gonna drag this mac os x x86 underscore 64 from the powder snow folder to the terminal folder again here enter make sure to type cd before that there we go and then we're gonna type in dot slash i ponder 32 dash r and hit enter and we're gonna put the phone in the fe mode hey there we go it is now doing its thing make sure this uh, here we go and there you go we got the powder snow logo and now we are have some furbo smooth now we will stop at this screen again we're just gonna restore the phone again to ios 7 here restore it and there you go now you guys now able to set up your ios 7 installation just like you would normally so that's enough for the video of today which is without downgrading another iphone 4 3,3 you can see there no sim card cdma model iphone 4 to ios 6.1.3 Will there be more version that will support a 3.3? I don't know yet, but maybe, all right? Just cross our, fing cross our fingers that maybe there's gonna be iOS 5, iOS 4 maybe, that's uh, going to be able to downgrade on this 3.3 iPhone 4. Thank you guys for watching this video. Come on, like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.